Yo, what's up guys, this is IJ's Games here, and today, I want to talk about one of my favorite games, Dark Deception, Monsters Immortals. Now, you guys already know the gist of the game, if you've been a long time sub, but today, I won't be talking about any tips, tricks, tier lists, or any of that. Today, I want to talk about why Monsters Immortals is dying. Without further ado, let's get it. Now, it might seem obvious that Monsters of Mortals is dying. If you look at the player count of the game on Steam charts, it's a significant drop. Along with the game being less relevant with each passing day, we can all agree that Monsters of Mortals is, in fact, again, dying. But I don't think it's dying in the traditional sense of a game falling out of popularity. I just think it's for a multitude of reasons. Gameplay-wise, mechanic-wise, community-wise, etc. Let's start out with the elephant in the room. Monsters and Mortals is a relatively simple game to grasp. You don't need to learn about a hundred different perks, learn different texts, or strategize in a very taxing way. You simply pick up the game, play it, and nine times out of ten, you'll grasp its concept. But its simplicity is like a double-edged sword. It can get old when you're playing the same gameplay loops, game modes, characters, etc. over and over again. There used to be a progression system, which was grinding shards for skins, but since almost all players bought all of them, there's no need to even play the game outside your own interest. New Content definitely would have helped the lack of a progression system and the same gameplay loops, but yeah. When nothing new comes out, people stop playing, which leads me to my next point. With the addition of three new base game maps, two new base game characters, one new game mode, and a bunch of announced and unannounced DLCs, you would think that the game would be swarming in content to keep its players interested, but in fact, that is unfortunately not the case. Those base game maps and characters have been delayed for one of the upcoming DLCs, Yandere Simulator, which has been delayed itself. A new game mode was announced, but no new info has came out about the game mode since then. It's been a year since we got a new DLC, last one being the UK Creators DLC. It's been a year since we got a new game mode, which was Soul Collection, which is in fact the worst game mode in the whole entire game. It's been seven months since we got a new character, which was the Joy Joy game. It's been four months since we got a new map, which was Crazy Carnival. Hell, we haven't had new skins since Halloween, which most are just recolors of the same base games. When people play online games such as this, nobody wants to wait too long for a DLC, update, skin, etc. Especially when those things don't have a determined release date. And especially when there are other games out there, such as Dead by Daylight, doing what Monsters and Mortis is doing, but a thousand times better. People would just stop playing and move on to those games, such as yours truly. Because of the drought of content, this can cause... As if players leaving a content drought of game wasn't obvious, players leaving the game also causes very long queue times. No player wants to wait 5 to 10, hell, maybe even 15 minutes just to get into one game, and they will eventually leave for another game, and possibly forget about the game altogether. The less players there are, the more the queue time is, the more players leave, thus killing the game more and more. Even if players aren't leaving, the ones who are staying get the most miserable treatment not only due to the things I listed above, but also... The Monsters and Mortals meta is not only a meta that hasn't been updated in months, but a very unfair meta. The meta consists of characters such as Beers, Ryan, Lucky, Ripper Nurse, and many, many more. So, what's wrong with this meta? Well, the characters I listed for the meta have ultimates that are very, very broken, such as Lucky having an unavoidable stun and barrage attack, or move to speed, which can allow people to just simply press W and win a whole game without even fighting, such as Reaper Nurse. Both can cause players to get frustrated at the game due to them trying their hardest, only to get one-shotted, or lose a game due to a player who is barely trying. This can make them stop playing the game out of frustration, or make them play meta. The cycle just repeats. And to add on to that, patches and nerfs are consistent either. If a character is broken, they will stay broken for a very long time, meaning you're going to have to deal with these characters for a while. Many had outcries about the meta, but due to the game dying and the community becoming smaller, this had led to more issues. With, again, the game dying, the community has become less vocal, inviting, and more miserable throughout the months. With no community, or rather, with a community that is less friendly, this could off put many new players to play the game. And even then, the official Monsters and Mortal Socials don't put in the effort to keep their community engaged. There's barely any polls, events, or community-based things to keep the community interested. And with a less interested community, this could cause opinions, such as nerfs, to be seen as minuscule when in fact there isn't enough of a community 
to make these issues vocal. So what's the point of all these reasons? What's the point of this video? Well, this video isn't really a problem and solution video as not only does each issue need a deep dive with their own video, and I don't want this video to be too long, but this video is to help spread awareness about Monsters and Mortars dying relevance, player count, issues, etc. to the developers of the game. No one else in the community will ever make a video expressing these thoughts, so I might as well be that person to at least make this aware. In the coming weeks, I will make videos on solutions of every issue I made in this video and hopefully with enough passion, we can make Monsters and Mortals a lively game again. If you do see this video, please share it and tag the Glowstick devs so they would be more likely to see this video and possibly act on it. And please Glowstick devs, if you're watching this, please act on it, man. This game has a lot of potential and you're kind of wasting it. Please don't waste the potential of this game. Alrighty, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video and want to see more of my content, you guys pretty much already know what to do. If you guys want to see more of me, go check out my socials. Links in the description. Decide just games and I am out.